Still streaming. Okay, they were connected. All right. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm back again. It's me, your boy, Doctor Who live streamer ninety eight. Sarries here. How are we doing? I don't know why I said ninety eight. Just so decided to say a random number to generate like a dumb username. But yeah, I'm back talking about Doctor Who filming because. Um, well, since the last stream, more stuff seems to be happening, um, and I thought I'd get ahead on it now because, well, you know, I might thought I might as well, right? Like, might as well talk about it. Might as well. If you're on Twitter, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, who likes my new Sonic, by the way? I thought I'd creep myself to one of those super rare um, Universal Remote ones now that's, like, rare to get, specifically the 12th Doctor extending one. I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with the purchase, but... um. Uh, let me just tell everyone that we're live. Live now. Um, so everyone knows. I don't know how many people are in here. Uh, I don't know how many people are in here. Probably not too many yet, I wouldn't imagine. Because I have just done this. I wasn't expecting to go live again, but you know what? More stuff coming out from the set. And I wanted to talk about it. So we're going to... Um, and that's how this is going to roll. So... Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy because we've got a lot of stuff to go through. Like some stuff that's basically like entirely confirmed, other stuff that's like close to being confirmed, and, like eyewitness accounts and things. Uh, it's just mental craziness what's going on down there over in Camden. Oh, we've already got 90 people watching. Is the stream quality low for anyone? Hey, should have just stayed live to be honest. True, the stream quality looks low. Is it low? All night stream, let's go. You guys seen the new Doctor Who Poop stuff? I haven't. I have not. There's already a hundred people watching this. Hi. Um, bro, please explain what's going on. I shall do, my good sir. What do we think of my new Sonic? Do we like it? Um, I hope you're supporting Forrest in their payoff, but I don't know what that means. Legend, thank you. Is the quality okay? It looks bad. You've been on my screen 90% of the day. <laughs> Sorry about that. Things keep happening. Have you been able to get any sleep? No, I don't sleep. I live for the, I live for Doctor Who. Doctor Who's my lifeblood, my life force, everything I am and ever will be. Okay, we're getting into the stuff. Don't worry. We're going to start off slow. We're going to start off, um, you know, uh, with the small things. Um, have you seen Davis has had a video premiering about the Reddit leak? I have not, but he's stealing my thing. Nah, I don't mind. I have, well, I have seen that it's premiering. I haven't watched it yet, though. Probably watch it later. Uh, it's not a bad thing, Darius. It's a blessing. Is the quality okay? Can if if the quality is okay, just type yes. Oh, leads. People are already spamming leads in the chat. Good, good, good. Um, yeah. St just so that may so that I know that the quality is okay. Just say that it's yes. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. Getting into it then, shall we? Um, let me just make sure that on this end I've got my. Oh yeah, my capture's already sorted. It's because I haven't changed anything from like a couple hours ago. <laughs> um, where do I start? Okay, so, because <laughs> there's been a few more things that have happened on set since I left. And there's been a few more things that seem to be happening. First of all, we had a shot of what looks to be the TARDIS dematerializing um, away from the the current, the, the nobles. Um, this was from the filming earlier on. If you've, if you've not seen any of the context of the previous filming, go watch my last stream. But yeah, you can see here, flashing lights and wind. So we're getting the more grand dematerialization effect that we got sort of in the Davis and Moffat eras, as opposed to like, I guess in the Chibnall era where it just like pops in, pops out. We're getting that whole wind motion, ooh, very dramatic thing. Very cool thing to start out with, but, you know, we're getting to the bigger stuff. Don't you worry, don't you worry, we're getting to the bigger stuff. But, you know, I want to build up suspense. I'm a storyteller. I want to take you all on a journey. Anyway, um, so the other thing was, let me get it up, uh, RTD filming. I saw RTD filming on the set. Hang on, I think it was on Bad Wolf, it was on Bad Wolf Archives account. My back just hurt then. I'm getting old. At the ripe old age of 18. This is my midlife crisis. Yeah, Russell T. Davis came to set to inspect things earlier on. Um, also, also, David Tennant and Catherine Tate have left. Which has led people to wonder, what's the nighttime shoot going to be? Because if we look here, thanks to Post Monument, 
uh, we can see they are setting up for some form of late night filming um, and people saying it's midnight. You can see here uh, David Tennant and Catherine Tate have left the set. So the real question here is, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, is who is who is doing the midnight shooting? And <laughs> it sounds like a terrorist act, it isn't. It's just um, um, could it be? Actually, no. We're not going to talk about that yet. Could it be Georgia Tennant? As Georgia Tennant has apparently been posting onto her Instagram. I checked to make sure these are real. Um, she's posted this Instagram post saying, "Have a lovely day, everyone. I love you, Mum." Implying that she's leaving the house. Um, and then, just a little bit later on, she posted pictures of her in some boots. Now, this might, um, so this might feel insignificant, but if we look here. Um, the boots are like scarily the similar um, and someone has reportedly said that they've seen Jenna Coleman, not Jenna Coleman, um, why did I say Jenna Coleman, Georgia Tennant, what? My brain is all over the place. Uh, we can see here from, I'm gonna, I, 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 this hasn't gotten as much traction but um, uh, this is coming from Hugh Mysterio saying Georgia Tennant is on her way to London right now. Um, don't know whether we have any additional context for this, but could it be Georgia Tennant? That is confirmed for midnight shooting, yes. Uh, they have invited me, definitely. Um, so, could be Georgia Tennant. But there is a bigger person who has been rumoured to be heading to... Well, not even rumoured, apparently cited to be heading towards the Camden filming site. Peter Capaldi! was apparently spotted at Euston Station um, about, what was this, like an hour ago? Um, which, if you don't know, is the station pretty close. It's like a 20 minute walk to Camden Market. And if we look at the quote tweets here, and there's a lot of quote tweets since I probably last looked at it because people are, um, people are getting really hyped. Um, people, someone said that apparently they saw him getting on the train from Edinburgh so this does line up if that's the case let me see if I can find it um I can't see if I, I can see if I can find it please don't be a coincidence not seeing the exact tweet but yeah I saw someone earlier say they'd seen him leave Edinburgh on the train or was it Edinburgh or Glasgow one or two um I don't remember which one um and he's apparently been walking to Camden with his manager and that was about an hour ago now we have not had a sighting of Capaldi as yet, but if this is true, which it's looking like it is, given given the fact that they're doing midnight filming and given the fact that Tennant has left, who else could they be filming? Could it be Tennant and the Doctor's Daughter, a.k.a. George Tennant? Could it be Capaldi, sorry, and the Doctor's Daughter, a.k.a. George Tennant? Hello, loving the stream, by the way. That's the big sort of stuff right now. There is a couple more things. Um, uh, Phil Collinson was also spotted on set earlier. Let me see if I can find it. Phil Collinson is one of the producers. Um, there's also been a bunch of new, like, proper nice HD quality pictures, which I'll probably take you guys through. Um, so, yeah, leave your comments below. What's the likeliness of that, of them actually being... Capaldi actually heading to Camden to do some filming if they have been seen because the person who said that they saw him was someone who was reporting um yes there he showed him on about three minutes ago I don't know what that's in reference to but thank you um what was I saying um the person who said that Capaldi was was there oh, also by the way I haven't said yet but if you're not subscribed you won't be able to um chat in the chat because uh, we had a bunch of bots earlier, and this is to try and mitigate that. Uh, can't Tenor just come back later? He can, but it seems on it seems weird. Uh, Cameron Jefferson with a five pound super chat. Glad to see you on live again. What's this all about? Uh, the, the, this the episode of the sixtieth. Will we see all two thousand two thousand five plus doctors return? Yeah, I mean this is the thing, isn't it? If if you get if you get um Capaldi and you get uh, Tennant, you're probably going to get um. 
Smith, Smith, and I don't think you're going to get Eccleston, though. And I think Jody is still pregnant, so can you reduce the slowdown a bit? I can. No worries, I'll reduce it a bit. Also, we did see stuff about a potential document. Yes, actually, good shout. Um, I think it was Joe who posted that. Hang on. We saw stuff about a potential revival for Doctor Who Confidential, um, for those of you who don't know, or something of that nature, for those of you who don't know, Doctor Who Confidential was um, the, what you call it, basically they, it was a show that showed the behind the scenes work on Doctor Who, and apparently we got video footage here of RTD, which I can show you all now. Um, you want to see some video footage of RTD? Oh There's a wrestler. Apparently, he was seen holding a camera as well, filming oh himself. <laughs> now, the interesting thing about this clip, if you see what saw it right at the very end, people were speculating that, see the man in the green jacket, this guy, people were speculating that that's, I think his name's Louis Theroux or something like that. He was a CBBC presenter, I think. I could be wrong, or, or a comedian or something. Um, don't know what his significance is, but... Uh, yeah, Leo Theory, comedian, I think. No, I was thinking of someone else. I wasn't thinking of the, the CBC presenter. Um, uh, yeah, so apparently he was spotted earlier. And then also, where was it? There was something about him filming something I saw, but I can't seem to find it anymore. If anyone can link that to me, appreciate it. Um, but we also, there was something else that I wanted to show that's gone uh, from my brain. Yeah, we can, we've got video footage of um, Tate and uh, Tennant as well here. We've got a proper rock star entrance as well. Like the fact, like the support from the fans has been really cool to see. Um, the amount of people there. Yeah, the fact that Peter Capaldi is te like, was, was like a little bit away and they're doing midnight filming without Tennant and Tate uh, makes me think, ooh, what are we thinking? Oh, two pound from Cameron Jefferson. Also, I love the Sonic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll turn. Oh, I didn't turn down the slowdown, did I? I knew I forgot something. Um, I'll sort that now. Uh, edit. Uh, customization. Slowdown. I'll make the slowdown half. I'll cut it in half. So it'll be thirty seconds. Peter Capaldi is it? Wait, Capaldi is in the area. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, he was spotted like at the train station. So um, by the person who was at, by one of the people who was at the filming, because um, they were leaving, and then they spotted him. Um, uh, where does it say this potential news? I can get it up again. I did show it earlier, but I can show it again. Um, where's what's the account's name now? I just had it up. That's annoying. That was the Georgia Tenant stuff. Uh, oh yeah, here. So uh, Ida, who's been so just so you know, has been on the set pretty much all day. I can show you now. Um, been on the set all day. Uh, been reporting, you know, various things. We've got better quality um, looks at David Tank and Catherine Tate to go over, but um, they've said like, you know, they've seen Peter Capaldi, and then oh, you look, Tan and Tate are leaving. Okay, so. They filmed the guy talking into a camera for a bit with current set, set dressing in background. So it could be a sort of Doctor Who confidential type deal over here. Um, I'd completely forgotten about that, but thank you for reminding me. Um, the other thing was, where was it? Obviously the Capaldi stuff was from them here saying they, they saw him at Houston. Apparently he was walking to Camden with his manager uh, and then their phone died. So they had to get it recharged. And then they said, yeah, my phone was on 2%. Perfect timing, bumped into him, froze in disbelief, uh, tweeted it before it went flat, and ran to uni to log into Twitter on a computer to see what madness I missed. And yeah, safe to say, everyone is going mad at the prospect of of Capaldi also being featured in some capacity um, in the 60th... Do you like the Batman Theorist? I do! I've got shit about it on right now. Um, it's very cool, and I like it a lot. So yeah, apparently, like a lot of stuff is happening, um, and I just kind of wanted to get on here and talk about it and talk about its likeliness. Now, apparently, as I said, the filming is at midnight. I don't know whether I can make it to midnight. 
uh, just to see if they, they film Capaldi stuff. It would make sense, but at the same time, I do have to sleep eventually. What I will show you guys, though, is the better quality pictures of Tennant and Tate. Because uh, there's like a full-on, like, one-minute-long video uh, in full quality of them. Like, that's not filmed on, like, a potato, so... Sorry, that's harsh to anyone who's done the filming. You've done a great job. It's just that this is actually a nice-looking uh, thing. Um, has anyone got a link to the tweet about Phil Collinson as well? Because he was also spotted. Producer of Doctor Who was also spotted. But um, here we can see uh, Tent and Tate full quality with what looks to be, obviously, Donna's husband and Yasmin Finney, who's the new uh, character called Rose, who we speculate to be Donna's daughter. And given how they're interacting, I think that's pretty much guaranteed at this point. Yeah. This is actually, look at his facial expressions. Facial expressions. That is the face of a man. Very happy to be there. Guys, right, step right back, please. Yeah, look at this. It's just crazy. We've got a whole minute. Guys, stay behind the barriers, please. Stay behind the barriers. You guys can see it, right? I'm just making sure you guys can see it. Yeah, yeah, you can. Thank you to... Oh, I've just seen here. Thank you to uh, Carl McCroy for the £5 super chat. Uh, love the influx of live streams recently. Appreciate your content and have for the past year now. The best and most responsive channel going. Thank you. Wait, why did someone say, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god? What do you mean, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god? Something else happened? Of course you can make it to midnight, get the coffee on. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I'll try. Um. Yeah, I'll play the rest of the clip. Yeah, you clip. I'll stay behind the base. Tennant's facial, my man's still got it, like, you know, Tennant gets a lot of flack, I think it's because he's the most popular one, but like, my guy's still got it, look at him. That's the end of that. I don't know, but they still have to... This was from earlier today, this wasn't, um... As you can see, because it's still day. What time does it become properly dark, by the way? Has anyone got, like, a... Rough... I say that like I don't know. I know the, 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 you know, the times between light and dark change, but... Um, yeah, here we see some, some more quality images of Tenant. Oh, that suit. I genuinely think the suit looks incredible. I can't find the thing about Phil Collinson, but yes. Um, lots going on. Filming is 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Do we think, do we think it's, um, uh, 9.30 or 10, I think it becomes dark. Okay. Logically, right, if we're thinking about this logically, they started filming today, um, I get to the, they started filming today properly at three, so if we're thinking about this logically, and they arrived at about 2, 2.30, so by 11.30, if anyone is showing up, that's when we know, but the thing is, is it going to be too dark for people to tell, is the thing, um, they all look so thrilled to be there, and I think... Yeah, no, I agree, they do look thrilled to be there. Uh, basically, someone has spotted Capaldi at the nearby train station heading towards Camden Town. So, uh, yeah. That's basically what's going on. We haven't had eyes on him if, like yet, but... Because Tennant and Tate are leaving, and midnight filming is still happening, the assumption at the moment is they're filming some scenes with Capaldi at the night shoot. That's the the theory, anyway. Okay, I've just had a little bit of an idea about this, actually. So, 
we know that they're that Tennant and Tate. This could be a hoax. The thing is, though, the person who has said they saw Capaldi were the same people who's been reporting from the set, like pictures, actual pictures. So they're not just some random who's because there have admittedly been some who've been like, oh my god, uh, Benny's but and all that sort of stuff. But like, this is someone who was actually at the set. This wasn't you know, someone who wasn't, you know what I mean? It was someone who's actually got ev- somewhat evidence that they were there. Like, well, no, not even somewhat, they just do have evidence that they were there. So, oh, we've got a five pound thing from, wow, I'm watching that video and honestly, I'm feeling emotional watching them all reprise their roles and to think this was only the beginning. Yeah, exactly. This is like day two and we're already getting all these rumors and stuff. Yeah, I shared the tweet in the Discord. Okay, I'll have a look. Um, Yeah, I'll talk about you live stream at 3 a.m. No, I'll see if I can make it to 12. I'm not going beyond that point, but I'll, t- I'll try my best. We're doing a late night Therry stream, Therry's After Dark. That's what this is. Um, someone said they they posted it in my Discord. So where did you? Which channel did you post it in? In the Discord, out of curiosity. Uh, Anyone know? Oh no, that was just the Capaldi tweet. I mean, I, did anyone? I was just talking about the um, the Phil Collins tweet. They've been there all day and seem legit. That's the thing. This isn't someone who's not had like no evidence that they were there. Like this is someone who's been there all day. Like sh- like most of my pictures from the earlier stream came from this person, and they're reporting that they saw Tenant, not Tenant. <laughs> I'm too used to saying Tenant now. Capaldi. Tennis how look great in those videos. Yeah, they definitely found the, uh, the gel. Lamau, it's late afternoon here. I wish it was here. Um, Peter Capaldi back. Great news. So excited. Me too. Me too. I'm incredibly excited. If that is true, like, because, I mean, what are the chances of him being heading towards Camden and that they just so happen to be filming that and Rachel Talale is there as well. Like, come on. As well, like, Capaldi was the one that was the one that uh, Talale worked with as well, more than any other. Well, actually, not even more than any other. She just was the one that he that she worked with. So, yeah, I can't find the full Collinson tweet anymore. That is annoying me a bit. I saw it earlier. You know, one of those things that you see and then it's gone. Doesn't do the tree. Me. 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 Okay, no, nope, there's nothing from. Oh, it's Phil is 1L, that's why I spelled it wrong. Oh, here we are. Boom, got it. Phil Collinson um, was also spotted on set, who's like one of the major producers uh, for Doctor Who going bad, uh, uh, forward at Bad Wolf. What about Nardol? Um, I don't think Nardol is back. I don't think. But then, if Capaldi is back, it does make logical sense for one of his companions to be back, I guess. Um, hope Talale convinced Peter to join. See, the thing is, right, about all this, I know, like, on the surface, it might sound mad, you know, eyewitness accounts, um, speculation, and all this stuff. But over the last couple of days, to remind everyone, David Tennant, Catherine Tate, Bernard Cribbins, um, Jacqueline Hill. Um, who else is returning? Technically, like, like confirmed. Who else is returning? We got them. Um, we've had like a new Doctor and a new companion who's called Rose, all in a very short span of time. In any other scenario, that would sound mental. But now, like, I believe anything is possible. I firmly believe that there is a good chance. Uh, Jacqueline King, sorry, not Jacqueline Hill. Did I get that wrong? Who's Jacqueline Hill? Is that the author of Trace of you? Anyway, in any case, uh, in case you missed it, more filming to come at, um, come, yeah, so Doctor Production News have confirmed it. I've no idea if the main cast will be there. This is the thing, we don't know who the cast is yet. Maybe we're not supposed to know. That's the thing, maybe we're not. This episode's gonna be epic. The thing is, even if like it's not true, even if Capaldi isn't coming back, like 
it's the sort of thing where oh, we've still got an epic episode. Do you know what I mean? It's not like we've got Doctor Who's best hands on deck to make one of the best episodes of Doctor Who ever. And it's it's incredibly exciting, really. Um, here, I just wanted to show this because I didn't show it earlier. But uh, George made a, a Photoshop mock-up of the new suit that Tan is wearing. And I like it. It looks good. Um, I kind of want to react to Davis's video because I feel like we're not going to agree. But, like, I, I understand his points. Um, but if you guys are up for that, then I will. You know, in the meantime, because we got a while to wait. I tagged you in a good quality video on Twitter. Okay, I'll have a look. A lot of notifications. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, another good quality video. Thank you. Yeah, you can definitely see them walking towards the TARDIS here. So this was the scene they filmed most of today. So they've they filmed, I think, like a few scenes now for this part of the episode. Because obviously we saw earlier on, if you saw the other stream, which if if one of the mods, if there is a mod in here who could link it in chat, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, we saw them getting in and out of taxis, we saw Tennant bursting out one of the shops, we saw um, them waving goodbye and getting on the TARDIS, and then the day before that we saw Wilfred Mott getting <laughs> wheeled into the TARDIS, we saw what else, we saw um, Tennant walking about and we've seen Tennant and Tate going into the shops as well, so there's been quite a few scenes filmed here already it seems. Also, by the way, if you are new around here, please just consider subscribing. It'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so this is just... Okay, let me just skip forward. I think it's just the same scene. So I won't show you guys it too much because, like, it is the same scene taken multiple different times because they're doing multiple different takes. Uh, check my notifications... Oh yeah, also the <laughs> the influx of returning people for the um, the uh, new episode for RTD inspired me to make this joke. Every Doctor Who actor making the pilgrimage to Camden, like, and it's just, you know, a bunch of people in, like, the Sarnet. I thought it was a good joke anyway. Uh, I have a gut feeling Tarrant will go see Susan Foreman in the specials. Saris, what are we waiting for? Um, honestly, I don't know. We're, we're waiting to see what the midnight filming is, if we can see that. Um, because, like, I don't think we're going to wait. I, I might not be able to make it to midnight, but at the very least, at 11.30, people would probably arrive for, for midnight filming, probably. So if Capaldi is back, which it's looking increasingly likely that he might, um, then in that case, we're going to try and wait as long as we can. Congrats on 13.6k. Thank you. Our next stop is 13.7. And we're just going to keep going. I want to try and get to, to 14,000 subscribers before Shooty starts filming. And I think we could do that. How do we know there's midnight filming? Uh, multiple people have confirmed it, including uh, uh, Doctor Who Production News, who are like a pretty reliable source when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, so like, yeah, there is midnight filming. Uh, someone is saying they have been told tonight is the final night of filming in London, or at least this part, this London area. Where's that, uh, William? Where whereabouts is that? If because you, you, I've got DMs with you. If you if you want to DM it to me, um, just so I can have a look at it if you want to, like, or uh, if you've tweeted it, then I can have a look on your timeline. Have you said anything? <sighs> But yeah, for those of you curious, we've had like multiple people corroborate. Yeah, they're coming back. And I think multiple people who are at the set today have, um, excuse me, have said. This could all be, I really doubt multiple people are in on the same hoax. Um, I think though, I think what their logic would be, Jamie, if they weren't going to announce Capaldi, 
is if they're doing nighttime filming, they might think, oh, we'll know when we'll be able to see it. Like, because, well, it's midnight, people would go home, logically. Whereas with Capel- with Tenant, all the filming's been in, like, bright daylight, so you can't exactly hide a giant TARDIS there. Whereas if it's, like, a brief cameo with Capaldi at nighttime for some reason, then theoretically that would be easier to hide, I would assume. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah. So we're just sort of waiting. I really doubt a lot of people are, like, doing a hoax. I doubt that's what that is. Imagine Eccleston turns up at midnight. Now that would be too far. I don't think that's happening. Well, this is the thing, we don't know. It would make sense if it was just a cameo, why they haven't made a formal announcement, because looking at the tenant filming, looking at how much of it there's been, I'd hazard a guess as, like, to say that the 60th of the main Doctor will be 10, or at least a version of 10 that could be 14, but that's a whole other thing. Um, but if it's just a cameo, then that might also explain why they don't formally announce it. Are there fans going to be going to be up there to report on this at midnight? I don't know whether anyone is today. I can ask. Oh. Oh. We've had the... F- oh, Rachel Talalay's just teased something on her Twitter. Okay, okay. Actually official stuff. Well, that's confirmed then. She's done the two hearts method plus a directing board, confirming that she is directed the 60th. Incredibly exciting. Um, it's basically confirmed she is directing the 60th, which we all already knew. We'd all seen her on set, but it's starting... Yeah, the fact that she's tweeted that now as well, hmm. The fact that they've confirmed that now is interesting, because that also does give legitimacy to the idea that perhaps, you know, there is stuff going on, well, later, which I think there is anyway, but... She is such a tease, yes, no count. One thing I will say, I mean, I know that, like, they, they try and keep everything as under wraps as they can, when they can. But, like, what's the point in keeping, like, because she said, like, oh, I'm not filming the 60th, but, like, come on, we've all seen you on set two days in a row. I think we, we kind of guessed, you know. But, yeah, like, I love how now two hearts plus whatever is confirmation. I think that's just a really cool shorthand. Yeah, the thing is, we normally get those those signs and then something official drops as well. Like, so I'm not saying that, you know, it's definitely not. It's definitely the 60th. I mean, it might not be the 60th, but whatever, whatever it is they're filming right now, which we assume to be the 60th, that's what she's directing. If that makes sense. I mean, given that they've made a little tease now kind of would make sense or i mean maybe even earlier because what time was it now like 9 20 maybe maybe 10 o'clock so yeah talala has been confirmed epic really really cool i'm glad i did this stream now just for that because <laughs> it was nice reddit leak is 100 percent real yep my only thing with that is though none of them have mentioned any other characters other than the ones we know although they did say another returning classic companion and we don't know who that is yet. Um, confirmed 10 a.m. big news. Where does it say that? Where is it confirmed that there's going to be big news at 10 a.m.? Or you mean 10 p.m.? Um, I went to a couple... Uh, oh, Rachel's officially confirmed that she's directing the episode. Which we all kind of knew, but... Yeah, and the fact that she's done the two hearts plus thing method is making people think, okay, maybe there is something more, because that's kind of, um, like this, I'm pretty sure this is confirmation, as I said, this is what they do when (laughs) they're officially announcing that they're working on whatever it is, RTD as planned, um, uh, 
Um, yesterday, Rachel said she wasn't directing it. Today, I saw her directing it. How long until we see Edgar in town? Oh, that's a whole thing. Check my last super chat. Oh, wait, did I miss a super chat from you, Cameron? I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry if I missed one. The chat's been going really quick tonight. Um, you know how we've seen Tennant with a new look? Imagine Capaldi also in RTD's era and Smith. They could all have new costumes. That is true. I hope they don't deviate from their like their original styles too much, but I would like to see a little refresh for them if, if, if Tennant's getting one as well. Sure. If they are coming back. Two hearts plus cross. Jesus is coming back for the 60th. Yeah. Rachel Talale is in good company with Andrew Garfield for just saying you're not in something when... Yeah, it does seem a bit more unofficial than the others, but I still think... Oh yeah, some people are saying the no cap line was hinting at Capaldi. It honestly could just be her use of like modern slang as like a sort of uh, joke, but this 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 tweet in retrospect is kind of funny. Um, no cap, no Capaldi, I don't know. Uh, I doubt it, but possible. Oh god, someone just said hello. That's terrifying. <laughs> That's terrifying. Someone on my TV just saying hello. Uh, hi. That's weird. Uh, it'd be funny if an actor made an Instagram post a night like this. Two hearts plus guitar and sunglasses. Exactly. We have had, we have been fed the last couple of days. Like a crazy amount. A crazy amount of information. Send you a DM on Discord. Okay, I'll take a look. Um, I shall take a look for you. Uh, do you think this line might hint? Yeah, I think so. I think I absolutely think the curator line might hint towards the whole turning back into ten thing. Like it might be an explanation for it at least. But yeah, she's basically confirmed that now, which is, um, you know, really exciting. But yeah, she did say like she wasn't, and now she is. So this is the thing. This is why I don't trust anyone anymore. I've got trust issues now. Because last time... Ugh. Do you think this will keep going all week? I hope so. I'd be really enjoying it. Don't know why they didn't use this for Tannen returning and it's two hearts plus eggplant. That'd be quite funny. Do you think Tannen will be the Doctor? Well, he is. He is the Doctor. I mean, he already... I mean... He has been since, like, what, 2006? Um, but, yeah, I know, uh, he, I think he's probably going to be a different incarnation to 10, I think. I think, personally. But I could be wrong. Uh, you watched David's new video? I haven't yet, because I went live as it was premiering. I, I could probably watch it on on stream if you guys wanted that but so as long as davis doesn't mind and i react properly saw this online okay so there was a 4chan okay 4chan leak 4chan do you guys want to read a 4chan leak how are we feeling do you want to, do you want to read a 4chan leak um Uh, the full champ post was deleted apparently. Okay, so thank you for saving this. Um, I think. Do you want to have a look at it, guys? How are we feeling? Um, okay, so there's that. Um, okay, this is a lot of information. Um, if this is true, just saying about yes. I think this is all of it. I'm trying to make sure I've got all of it before I show you guys. Probably should just click them, but you know, it'd be easier if I have them all separately. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just click all of them once I've done it. Okay, so <clears throat> you ready to read some 4chan leaks? Here we go. 
All right. Yes. 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 Okay. We're gonna read some full chan. Let's go. Okay. Uh. So I've had to develop a Smurf account in case anyone at work tries digging up the account info. But besides that disclaimer, I've got some pretty exciting news to share. While working as one of the many contractors with Bad Wolf. I've been able to compile some information regarding the 60th anniversary, as well as information about the centenary. From some good friends working on post-production with the BBC, those who truly work with actual anonymous sources from Bad Wolf can confirm this information is true by knowing the inner code name for the David Tennant 60th trilogy, Second Coming. Oh, so that's a reference to uh, Russell T. Davis's uh, show The Second Coming with Christopher Eccleston. Uh, and also is kind of fitting because it's the second coming of David Tennant as well as Catherine Tate. Uh, so very clever. That is the inside name. So the 60th will be celebrated by a series of three specials similar to how Doctor Who has functioned this year, but will be a, will, will all be part of a larger story. It's being dubbed the Timefall Trilogy. Beware of spoilers for the centenary special as once as one uh, facet of that story is heavily used in the 60th. The Centenary, which releases on October 18th, sees 13 infected with Timefall. This causes the Doctor to go through the regeneration shift that morphs 13 into other previous incarnations of the Doctor. In the Centenary, 13 phases into 5, 6, and 7. This allows the classic Doctors to come back while their physical age being explained away by the Doctor's own uh, linear age, whilst also slowly dying by the Timefall virus. Hmm, interesting, okay. After saying goodbye to Yaz, 13 goes to Gallifrey, believing that she is truly about to meet her ultimate end. She leans against the TARDIS on the cliffside, overlooking the dead citadel as, and passes out. We get a very classic styled regeneration with the TARDIS lights and sound growing louder and louder and brighter and brighter until Tennant suddenly wakes up in 13's clothes. But this time the citadel is nowhere to be seen, only an empty crater. The 60th anniversary will see Tennant as the Timefall Doctor. Technically the 14th, who is played... I did say earlier, if, if, if Tennant was going to be the 14th incarnation, then I don't think they're going to refer to him as the 14th Doctor. Yeah, I, I've, I've just... I've spoken about the uh, Talale thing already. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What are we talking about? Uh, the 60th anniversary trilogy will see Tennant as the Timefall Doctor, technically the 14th who is plagued by visions of a young woman standing alone at the end of planet Earth. As the Doctor tries to find her, he comes to realise that she is actually Rose, the daughter of Donna. But the Doctor is even more surprised by the fact that Donna actually remembered everything about the Doctor. Wilfred seems to know why, but he's hesitant to tell the Doctor anything at all. While the Doctor tries to solve the mystery, he learns about a prophecy about the flower that will bloom at the end of the Earth and bring everlasting knowledge to they who will obtain to they who obtain it all the while the trilogy will deal with three separate alien invasions at different time periods all of which are eventually revealed to center around the doctor's daughter rose uh, the donna's daughter rose sorry it's then revealed that the doctor's memories that were going to kill her were absorbed and sustained within her daughter uh, donna's daughters were absorbed and sustained within her daughter while she was pregnant by the time rose was born she already, she was already an extremely, uh, no, that's the next one. Nope. Um, extremely smart child, having many personality traits like the doctor, but only memories in her dreams. Rose was still her own person, but had all the knowledge that the doctor ever had. This allowed for Donna to remember the doctor and still live. Wilfred had always believed this to be the case, but didn't want the Doctor to take Donna away again, leaving Rose behind without her mother. Uh, behind the scenes info. Uh, now this is as much as I know. What I can tell you is, there are two versions of the scripts for part two and part three. A, a, a version, I version just has the Timefall Doctor. The second version has the Pond showing up with the 11th. Both versions were made that way if scheduling difficulties arose and they couldn't reunite. The story still be told. The story could still be told in a satisfying way. I can confirm for the 2010 trio, they are under. Um, they are heavily underway currently at the moment. Only the first special is being filmed. Uh, also, in terms of the TARDIS, the 13th Doctor's TARDIS exterior will be used for all three specials. But a new interior has been constructed. 
using elements of free loop previous control rooms is meant to symbolize how the TARDIS is just as internally confused as the Doctor. It has nine and ten's console, the, 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 the rotating gallery glyphs at the top, like 11s and 12s, and has a larger um, uh, uh, and has a larger uh, spatial design layout like the Roof Doctor's TARDIS. Now in terms of Shuri Gatwa's Doctor, he will take the TARDIS keys. At the end of the third 60th special, Bad Wolf and the BBC have been very careful not to call him the 14th Doctor. I mean, they have called him that though, but okay. Um, in, the, in the promotional material, because he's not the 14th Doctor, because he's really not the 14th Doctor, he'll technically be known as the 15th after Tenant regenerates into him. Now, the only thing is, I wouldn't want them to call him the 15th officially, because I think that would feel kind of dumb. Um, he and Rose will then go on the proper adventures in series 14 in 2024. Okay, that all seems to line up incredibly well, if that is true. That was, for those of you who perhaps have just joined and weren't sure of the context of what we were doing, I feel it's in some fan fiction too, possibly, but it does, they called him it on, I believe, the BBC article that announced him. Hang on. Uh, shooty get to a, um, let me have a look. BBC. Uh, can you guys oop, can you guys see this? No, you can't. Yeah, I'll make sure you can. Though, don't worry. Um, uh, Shuri Gatwa, BBC names actor as the next Doctor Who star. Um, actor. Oh, Shuri Gatwa will take over from Jodie Whittaker and star as. Uh, yeah, so the twenty-nine-year-old will become the fourteenth Time Lord on the popular science fiction show. So they have referred to him as the fourteenth before. Like it's not. They've not. I think it's true. I, the thing is, the thing that does make sense about it, if that all is true, which I'm not. Su thing is, it might feel kind of far fetched, but a lot of it does line up. Um, the thing is, the thing that is making me think it might be legit in some ways is the whole idea of there being two versions: one with uh, Smith and the Ponds, um, and the other being without them, because. If you make two versions, then if, if they can't show up, then, you know, you don't lose anything, really, because we wouldn't know. So that makes sense to me. Darius, it seems to match perfectly. The other leak that see uh, that matches the filming from yesterday, and today mentioned 13 rege regenerating on a cliffside, too. Exactly. That's the thing. Bad Wolf Archives has just tweeted. What's Bad Wolf Archives tweeted? Anything good? I don't think. Wait, where did they? Where did they tweet? Oh, it's just about um, David Tennant, which is fair enough. Uh, I'm not seeing anything big yet, but that's fair. There might not be anything else big tonight, but wait. Oh, oh, oh! Is that official? Apparently, Rachel Talalay's put it on her Instagram as well. Making it the next lineup in the Instagram posts. Oh, could there be a more of an official announcement then? Oh, there actually might be, you know. Hang on. Ah, oh, Talale. Oh, wait, hang on. I got Instagram. I am very dumb today. I apologize. Has the sound been all right, by the way? Uh, how long do we wait? I don't know. I honestly don't know, but stuff is definitely going down. Which is why I wanted to do the stream because, you know, obviously the thing is with this, it was I was debating whether to do one or not. But the thing is, if I didn't do one, people would be like, "Oh, why haven't you covered things about Rachel Talalay being confirmed and all this?" It's like, I know, I know, it's here. I just haven't talked about it in a thing yet. Whereas if I do a stream now, then people know that I have covered it. You know, Ah oh, Talale, here we are, officially confirmed. Here we are. We have the two hearts plus diamond plus plus. Uh, the filming thing. Yep, confirmed. She's directing. Very cool. Um, the thing is, does this mean anything more? Could there be an accompanying BBC tweet that perhaps shows a bit of the like? Because they seem. I don't know whether you guys have noticed this, but I've noticed when they've been filming, 
it almost seems like they've been taking a lot of pictures um, on set. I'm wondering if this will corroborate with a because you know how they normally tweet when they normally start production there's normally a tweet saying Doctor Who da 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 has started production like obviously series 13 had it series 12 had it you know it's a common thing that they do so maybe this is the sign that they're going to do something like that uh, if you watch Davis's new video it is quite cynical we might give it a watch later when was the leak posted I'm not sure the person who sent me that um uh, by the way, there is a BBC News article that calling the 14th wasn't affiliated with Doctor Who. And, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, and that could be them guessing. I don't know. It's confusing, though. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, you are kind of right, to be fair. Could just be a separate thing. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to do some eyes. I'm just going to do some eyes. There we go. I love the tradition of, of having these two hearts. I'm just wondering if there is anything anything else is the question. Is there anything else today now? I'm wondering because they normally do it on the hour. Uh, it's funny that we live in a world where the BBC have to guess details get guess details about their own show. That yeah, that is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, this sounds real, but the Matt Smith part don't sound real. I think the idea of them not being able to, to do it because... Oh, hang on, my dog's barking. Give me a sec. Uh, give me one sec. I'm going to come back in a moment. Boo -doo 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 -bee -bee. Occupy yourself for a moment. Uh, Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I am coming back. You know who would be cool to see back? Martha. Martha would be cool. Okay, I'm back. Hello. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is... <laughs> you're still using my art, by the way, yeah. I just thought it made sense to you, so I just put it in as my permanent part of the setup now. If, I'm sure David's heard it's done because uh, what are the odds that Mother Effort <laughs> takes takes the same face? Yeah, the thing is, every other part of that leak has been correct, to be fair. I imagine Martha or Gwen are in the centenary or both. Possibly. It'd be cool. Uh, Cameron Jefferson with two pounds. Check my last super chat. Wait, you did another one? Sorry, Cameron. I can't keep up with you tonight. Um... Five pound from Cameron Jefferson. That sounded fantastic, but it could easily be created around everything we already know. I suppose, yeah, yeah, that is true. You're not wrong. Uh, Thary's sleeping pattern out the window. Last few days, he using stuff. To, uh, uh, he's he using stuff to hold on. Yeah, well, I mean, not drugs. I don't do drugs, kids. You know. Bad. Um, the thing is, right, it is weird how yesterday she was like, no, I'm not directing, the day after she's directing. That is odd to me. Unless they were holding it off tomorrow, uh, till today deliberately, to do a bigger announcement. Maybe that is a reach? Reveal Peter Capaldi. I can't reveal him, I'm not on the set. I'd love to be able to reveal it for you, but I don't have that power. All this news, I'm focusing on my A-level in Russell, yeah. Remember Rachel made a Capaldi reference yesterday? He did, uh, she did, sorry. There are lots of speculation. This means Peter Capaldi is involved since she was only with him a few weeks ago. Yeah, that is true. Very true. All very, all very true. Um... Uh, Anything else going on? No, just the official um, <laughs> people saying when Alex Kingston posts heart, heart plus kiss, what then? 
Yeah, this is actually mental. Like, um, it's mental how, like, quick these announcements are coming. We're having a new, like, official drop every day. So, cool, man. You sure you and RTD ma didn't make an agreement? Oh, about the... Because I got like, subscribers as a result of all these announcements. Um, <laughs> no, I didn't. But, um, Capaldi, if you need any help on a new version of Doctor Who Confidential, you know, you, you know where I am. They need a TARDIS emoji. They do. That's true. That's true. Uh, they officially dropped Rich Talale as director. So there, there has technically been a drop today as well. But there might be another drop as a result of that. Could Rachel Zalali just be officially announcing? It could be. It could just be that. But normally when they start shooting, there is normally a tweet that corroborates it saying Doctor Who series 13 has entered production. Um, or like whatever series has entered production. If you look, when was the... I think it was October of 2020 that they announced it. I've got this really cool thing that lets me go back on Twitter and see certain things. Hang on. Uh, let me find it. Because I swear to you, they normally, like, every time they're starting filming, they, they, they have a little official thing with, like, clapperboard and that. Maybe it's just that, but I couldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if we had something like that. Possibly. I think that's a fairly likely thing, but I could be wrong. Because we know they're filming today. So it is weird that we haven't had like an official, oh, they're, they're filming, unless, the thing is, right, Russell, what Russell says and what Russell does have kind of been two different things of recent, um, you know, Russell's been saying, oh yeah, we're not going to announce anything more, um, till Jody, till Jody leaves, and then Shooty's Doctor gets announced, <laughs> um, uh, David Tennant and Catherine Tate get announced to be returning. Rachel Talale has been announced to be directing officially, uh, pretty much. Um, you know, and we've announced a new companion as well. That happened yesterday. Um, like, a lot of stuff is going on, you know? So, what Russell says and what Russell does, kind of two different things. <laughs> yeah, I think October was when they announced, I feel like, was when they announced Series 13 filming. Maybe they won't officially announce it, but maybe they will. I could be wrong. But it's cool that we at least did get an official drop tonight anyway. Was it October? Am I right or am I making that up in my head? I swear it was October of 2020. Maybe in September. Just going through the just going through the Doctor Who Twitter account to see if there is anything that says about the production. Uh, stuff about the, the revolution of the Daleks panel, I remember that. Um, has anyone got the date that they announced series 13 filming? Because I cannot find it. Someone DM it to me. Someone DM it to me, or we'll, we'll just tell me in chat, or one of the two. Just, uh, why can't I see my live stream? Oh, there we are. I think with the Series 13 uh, filming, they announced it, but someone had seen them filming a few days before it was officially announced. I mean, yeah, but that's the case here as well. We've seen them filming a couple of days ago. So they could also do, check your DMs, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the two pound super chat as well, Cameron. You're on fire today. Cameron, you are, like, financing my life right about now. That's horrifying. <laughs> okay, I thought it was going to be the date of when they announced um, uh, filming. It was not what I expected. Uh, I don't know whether I want to show it on, on stream because I mean, it's nothing bad or anything. It's just that's going to be in my nightmares for the next few days. <laughs> um... Uh, what have I missed? Rachel Talale has officially confirmed that she's directing. What was it? That was unexpected. Yeah, it was. Okay, I'm going to have to show you the context now. Hang on. Am I going to get claimed for that, actually? That's a point. I'm going to turn off the sound. I forgot you guys could hear these things. 
Sam was too much. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Copy. Oh, yeah, I hope it's... Right. YouTube, please. Please. Please don't claim me. I hope you. I didn't mean to play it. I'm sorry. It was like two seconds. Uh, they, <laughs> you'll get claimed and they'll send your revenue to Leeds. Not Leeds, no. I actually like Leeds, but... Maybe don't. Yeah, okay, I won't then. Cameron, if you've if you've lost me money, I swear. No, I'm joking. You've probably made it back on your own, to be honest. Thing is, we normally do get those little twi little Instagram posts uh, that follow something official. But then again, I suppose the, the Doctor Who account haven't posted it. So maybe we shouldn't expect anything more. I don't know. This whole thing's just pretty sus. Was <laughs> Cameron with another two pounds? Sorry, it's only a joke. It's okay, honestly. Harry's ad revenue spotted in Cardiff. Wait, is there spam bots? Okay, should we watch the Davis video while we're waiting? Okay, we'll watch the Davis video. We're going to watch the video because a lot of people are suggesting me watch the Davis video. I'm going to watch the Davis video. I love Davis. Davis, I'm a big fan. Um, as he knows, follow him on Twitter. I feel like we're going to disagree on this. And I could pro... Then again, actually, oh. He uses copyrighty footage, though. Hmm. I don't know whether I can or not. I suppose if I have it closed down, I should be all right. Like, not in full screen mode, but... Okay, um, I think we're, how much copyright footage could I potentially be done for here? Because the thing is, yeah, I know fair use is a, I mean, I know fair use, but like, um, but there, you can't just stream other people's, yeah, but I'm going to be giving adequate reaction to it though. It's not just going to be me going that. It's not going to be that. It's going to be me actually react. I think if it's transformative, it's fine. No, no. I don't mean copyright in that sense. I mean, because he uses BBC footage, they can be very funny about that. Even if he used it on his video, they can be very funny about it. We're waiting for the leads to declare war officially. I don't know. I guess we got super chats. Um, oh, we'll give it a go. I think it's what, yeah. It's, when content's not transformative, that's when I take an issue with it, but I think in this case I'm going to be reacting, so I think we should be fine. A friend of mine works at Bad Wolf and has let slip some details about the upcoming 60th anniversary plans. Yeah, this is the this is all 100% accurate, so if you want to avoid spoilers, don't click below. David Tennant and Catherine Taylor, the doctor working out why he's got his old face back leak, right? and why he runs into Donna again after the on the mentioned, but I don't know if he appears because Bernard Cribbins is now also directs the first special. <laughs> There for no topical related reason, David Tennant's back! Okay. And Bernard Cribbins, and Ross T. Davis, and Phil Collinson, and you Julie Gardner, say, and the Nan from the Nan movie, yeah, she, yeah, and the Brigadier, and the Master, and a Kenan computer, and a Yeti. We gotta talk about this because that Reddit leak is true. The fandom and Russell T. Davis both seem convinced to make me hate the Tenth Doctor's era, and they're trying, they're really trying. A retro regeneration. It's come this far. It's come to this. It is the most cynically commercial decision Russell could- Okay, I'm not gonna disagree in the sense of like, it is undoubtedly, it's a marketing like move. No one's denying that. I will say though, I don't think looking back to the past of the show is necessarily jumping the shark because it's a case of where like, okay, yeah, you know, it is nostalgia bait, but if you do something new and interesting with it, which it looks like they're doing with, you know, the alternate reality, um, you know, new costume, all of this funky stuff, uh, Donna's, got a Donna's got a daughter now and all this sort of stuff, it's, it's progressing the past rather than purely relying on it. So I don't know whether I'd see it as as cynical, but I don't really have any issue with someone thinking that so far could make to start off his time back with the program but it's fine it's just for a couple specials that's my point is it timeless children was a shark okay 
Okay, okay. Jump. A right. continuity bomb that we don't deserve to come back from. Okay, I'm probably just gonna, you know, skip past when he plays Doctor in Distress just because I'm worried about copyright and all that. Um, but yeah, we'll just, it's just mostly him talking, so we should be okay. New Whitaker enter Tanya by regenerating into actor David Tennant for any reason, for any extended period of time. That is the shark jump of all shark jumps. That's the final frontier of shark. I don't, I don't agree. I think it's just like a temporary boost. I don't know whether I see it as like a complete jump for the sharks. I get it, but it's like, I don't think it's harsh. I understand the concern. At the same time, I, I, I don't know. I don't know whether I necessarily see it as as much of a bad thing as him. But fair, you know. Like I'm not really. It's not that I agree with the points, but I'm not really, you know, I understand why someone could make these points, and I'm not saying they're bad points to make. Shark jumps. And I don't think New Who is a program with many sharks left to jump. No, I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about a circumstance where a showrunner who's basically like a second father to me and my favourite actor to ever touch the role are back in the program. And that's because, really, this isn't a decision made for me. It's not a celebration of the show. It's It's... It's a gateway drug. It's a decision made for other people. That's fine. <laughs> I am a fan who's very aware. I don't know whether I would say that the tenant decision was made purely to appease. I know that it's a joke, right? I know it's a joke that the, the decision was made to appease like Daily Mail readers and that. But it's the case of like, I don't know, it's like, I think there are a lot of fans who've wanted to see Tanner back, and it's it's not the sort of thing... I know that there is, you know, been a lot of nostalgia reliance in the... the Ooh, saying no data, that's not good. Uh, there's been a lot of people saying that there's, you know, not a... There's been a lot of nostalgia in, like, the previous era, in the Chimney era especially, like, that's not really felt like much, it's felt quite hollow. Difference is, though, RTD is a very good calibre of writer, and I think... You know, there was... The thing is, someone mentions No Way Home there, right? And the thing that I like about No Way Home is that it incorporates the new characters. Also, as someone pointed out there, this is the anniversary year. This is the year where I think you can you can do a bit of a fan wanky scenario and it feel justified. I understand the concern that it could become a more regular thing off the back of that or that um, the, pre like, the Doctor who has had a president before the 60th um, uh, of um, nostalgia. I mean, someone said that MCU is trash. I mean, I've not been keeping up with it recent, but I do like, you know, a lot of the movies. Um, you're all, why are you all kidding yourself? Doctor Who is done. Mate, this stream has got 630 people in it, and like most of these streams peak at like a thousand. You really think Doctor Who's done? Really? You going with that? Okay. And I'm just a nobody. I'm not even official. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a guy. Very aware of optics and what would get the casual viewer back into the program. There are so many other ways to make a big bombastic anniversary special without literally turning him back. Literally rolling back the clock to 2008. I have to pray and that it, yeah. the story is aware of this. And it, I think it will be. I think... I obviously, I'm, I, you know, neither of us have seen the story, so neither of us can, can confirm this, but I I think the vibe I'm getting is, I could be completely wrong, but I, I get the sense that the, the, the plot or the arc for 10 or 14 or whatever you want to call him in this bunch of specials is basically going to be, oh, I need to accept that I'm moving on. And that'll be kind of a metatextual message of like, yeah, 10th Doctor's great, but we all need to move on sort of thing. I could be wrong. That's just my speculation point, but seeing as, you know, him degenerating into 13, right now that is still speculation. It's granted it's more it's more backed up speculation by a pretty credible leak, but it's not confirmed. So therefore, I think you've got to be careful in terms of... Obviously, I'm not saying Davis is doing this, but I'm not going to treat that as 100% a certainty. I think it's likely, given 13's box given the credibility of the leak so far, but it's not certain. It might be cynical. Josh Carr had the great take that, what if the Doctor was not the Doctor? What if 
Tennant is the antagonist of the specials. And then we've got Cutie Gatawa around the shadows trying to like work out what's gone on. Um, I don't have enough faith in Russell at this point for that. Let it be known. You don't have enough faith in... Okay. I don't... I don't really get why you don't have the faith in Russell. My guy has been on top form a lot um, of recent. Maybe it's just like due to him making decisions that he's not liked. But... Um, The, I've t it's, it's not. I said the leak multiple times. Like, I don't think he's clout chasing. He's he's demonstrating his opinion, which he's entitled to. But not having enough faith in Russell. Like, we haven't seen him write Doctor Who in ten years. I, I love you, Davis, but I'm not sure what that's based on. Like, you guys, I, lots of us, we warned you when Russell Davis was coming back. That was an. Let it be known that I warned you guys. I. Lots of us, we warned you when Rossley Davis was coming back. That was an exciting reveal for 24 hours, and then all the doubt starts to creep back in. Not only is it a boys club, as ever, there's this old interview where David Tennant asks Rossley Davis what the program will look like in 20 years, and they have these big optimistic ideas of new people, new fans, who uh, are fans now, uh, gotta, taking over their reign. Pause, pause the stream a minute, just because someone's knocking my door. Um, let me just... Uh... And I'm back. Okay, hello. Um, sorry about that. Just uh, someone asking me if I was alright. Um, so, da -da 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 -da. okay, I'm back. Back to the video. I'd love to think there'll be people sat here making it in 20 yeah. years. Though. Yeah. Because it's there. Uh, you the letters. Them. You must get the letters and the stories. Yeah. They're, right. they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is true. It. They're writing those stories now. And that's incredibly depressing. Ladder pulling is a bit. Uh, strong, but you kind of get the impression that they brainwashed generations of children into TV production just so they could have more cast and crew to play around with. Uh, technicians. Whilst I, sh I don't know, I think this is kind of cynical. Like, <laughs> like it's the sort of thing of like, can I get it again? Like, it's logical, but it's like, I don't think this is like a grand scheme to like. You know, so Russell wants to secretly be back on top. I think it's just a case of this man is a very qualified man. He's made Doctor Who work before. Yes, okay, he's bringing back some familiar elements, but it seems like he's doing different things with those elements that could lead to an interesting story. I don't think this is built on purely let's let it be 2008 again. I could be wrong, but I think it's cynical to look at it like that in the sense of that's based on purely speculation and a couple of filming images. That's all I'm going to say. Like, again, Davis, love you, nothing, this is nothing against you personally, but I don't know. I don't know whether I agree with this take. I should be excited of all my childhood icons returning to the screen like no time has passed. Um, A, I personally already experienced that excitement back in 2015, whenever the two came back to big finish. We know full well that the Tenth Doctor hasn't left the cultural eye in the past four years. But it's also because Russie's putting the gang back together. This massive collection of old faces, all the old bigwigs, it's such a, a big statement about the programme, no matter what way you split it. And pieing off Mrs. Whittaker in this way, uh, it's kind of unforgivable. I don't want to be this guy. Bad, bad form. I don't know whether I agree it's bad form. I mean, the Doctor always changes. I know it's changing into someone familiar, so that is kind of like different and perhaps you could argue that it's a literal like from the optics perspective of it is it a literal step back possibly i don't know whether i i don't know i just don't know whether i i think it's as cynically motivated i could be wrong though i really don't not only do i want to be involved in the fan made time and enjoying the big buzz but i deserve this <laughs> I owe it to myself to be a cynical bastard after the last four years, which have basically been Russell D. Davis too. Anyway, when Russell comes back, I think that's an insult to Russell. You know, I ain't gonna get into that. You know, I, I know it's just a turn of phrase from Davis now, but yeah, it's fair enough. Brtd three in my books. I haven't enjoyed the show for a while. 
I haven't enjoyed the show for a while, so it'd be so much easier just to be like, oh no, Russell's back, he can write a competent script, let's have faith in him. But that's getting more and more difficult for adult and personal reasons. Rhetorical question, but can you think of any version of that pitch of 13 regenerating into tenants? That sounds good. Yeah, there's been a couple. I mean, you know, I get it if it's not your thing, but I mean, for me, I think, I think it's quite a good idea. I don't know. I, I, I yeah, I could be wrong. I don't any. Know. There is one, and it's the one I explained earlier, where Fan Wank was accepted and explored as IP desperation. The Reddit leak at this point has to be correct, or at least 80% correct. To guess a new guest star called Rose is just unreal, but it very much hints that it's tenant centric, like Time Lord Victorious and Titan Comics. I do get it from the perspective of we have seen a lot of tenant in modern media, that is true, and I agree with that. I think it's the case though, from, and I know he said like it's, it's bringing on, it's, it's done from a, like an optical perspective of let's get people back on board. I don't think that's a bad... I think the reality of it is... Bigger picture... Doctor Who isn't as popular as it used to be. In terms of... Has anything dropped, by the way? Sorry, I just wanted to double check that something hasn't dropped whilst I've been doing this. Um, oh, Cameron Jefferson with his 20 pounds super chat. Sorry, did I miss that? Um, I'll have to go to work early in the morning. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. I'm just going to double check. I don't think I've seen anything. Um, no, it doesn't look like there is anything at the moment other than Talale being confirmed. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... And the video game. Nonetheless, Russell- yeah, He has been very prominent, but for the casual audience, they don't know that. And I know you said that it's to do with bringing in the casual audience, which I agree with, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think the reality of it is, bigger picture, Doctor Who hasn't been as popular as it needs to be. And yeah, okay, maybe it is a slight, there is a whiff of desperate, desperation there. But I would rather have a show that's willing to... What's the word I'm looking for? Um embrace its past in order to stay relevant in the future than a show that I don't know does that make sense I'm just I just don't know whether it's a cynically motivated I mean it is partially I'm not gonna deny that I don't know it's just let me listen to the bit that you said again hang on trick like Time Lord Victorious and Titan Comics and the video game Nonetheless, Russell is a creator with an unbridled, endless supply of good faith from me and other fans. He got us at that age, you know? But how can this come across as anything other than a Russell T. Davis victory lap? A vanity project. If it's an anniversary of Doctor Who, sure, why are we just going straight back to 2008, where he left off? And more importantly, why- I mean, it's- they're the two most popular, though. Again, it's that optical thing of, like, they're the ones, I mean, whether you want to, like, it might sound harsh to say, but they're the ones the casual audience care about the most. It's not just out of his own sense of vanity. I mean, it's not really his fault that the two Doctor and Companion that he created also happen to be the two that the general audience tend to connect to the most. I think logistically it's a smart decision. So I think, again, I think it's framing RTD's motives as slightly more self-congratulatory and um, elbow rubbing and sort of like, yeah, I, look how great I am, but I think it is, because as, as well, what this video has so far pretty much neglected to mention by like one reference to him um, in an alternate pitch for the 60th, is that Shooty Gatwa, we're still getting Shooty Gatwa, we are still getting a new series in series 14, this is the one-off thing, and every other leak, every other bit of speculation has you know, said that's the case as well. It's not like this is the new status quo. I'd understand if Tenet was coming back full time. I'd agree that'd be a step too far. But I think a one-off side project, I think is fine to reinvigorate interest and to celebrate the anniversary of the show. Why is that his priority? But 
That's fan brain. We gotta stop the fan brain. Uh, <laughs> I've been meaning to become less optics focused as a fan, uh, like focusing less on how the show does and how it could perform overseas and bring in the normie crowd. Yeah, Number I guess. One, I hate the fucking normies. Not two fans, just Brits. Uh, they don't deserve good things and they definitely didn't deserve Capaldi Who, so <clears throat> that's that. Be it done. <laughs> Second of all, it's not a good way to enjoy stuff. That's a motorbike. Very cool. I'm as guilty of this as anyone, but when someone says... I suppose it's... I mean, I quite like... Look, I don't sort of... It's the sort of thing where I don't elicit my enjoyment from the show from, oh, how well is it doing? But I also think it's just a fun part of the process to keep up with, personally, but that's just me. It'll be good for the show. I can stomach it for a couple specials if it's what brings the public eye back to Doctor Who. And I just want to know at what point uh, being a fan mixed over with being a market analyst. Because uh, I feel like we're all doing executive work unpaid. So, so honestly, if it's a bad Who idea, I don't care if it brings back audiences. I'm I don't know necessarily if I agree it's a bad idea, but if you see it as a bad idea, again, I can't really... It's not the sort of thing I can really... Um, go against because it's pretty much would just be me saying well this is your opinion well this is my opinion and that doesn't really get anyone anywhere but yeah I'm off the hope that good Doctor Who brings back audiences and there's a million different ways to mix up the show's status quo uh, make the show about actual change new series arc make new viewers happy nobody wants a Doctor Who MCU Russell I mean people a couple people do want that but yeah Sparse series kills the show for kids. I agree with that last one, and I agree with the first one. Uh, no series arc makes new viewers happy. We we might still get the last the last two the last no the first one and the last one. Sorry, we might still get those. Just because we're getting canon in the sixtieth doesn't necessarily mean we're not getting those other things. You know, that don't involve bringing it back to two thousand and eight. I loved two thousand and eight. I'm still happy. Feel free to psychoanalyze this reaction video, by the way. Uh, if I ever did meet Russell D. Davis in real life, it would come to punches. That's for very, very personal reasons about the film and TV industry, though. I'm not making a habit of this. I'm not deploying the clickbait headline. I actually believe... I actually believe that, so... Darius, you better watch out. I'm on your turf. I just I, really hope that this doesn't come across I, as the big I, Russell T. Davis show. Um, we've all missed Doctor Who, I feel. It's in some way or another. I don't need Oof, Doctor Who to be on top of the world me. again. I need Doctor Who to be Doctor Who again. I think it could still be that, though. It's just a big push for the BBC in... Uh, yeah. But it is another motivation. Okay. I don't think Davis is uh, motivationless, though. I think he's he's sprucing up the show in some ways that are, like, really different as well. I think he's doing both. He's bringing in old stuff whilst doing... whilst pushing the show forward in new ways. We've got our first uh, full-time POC Doctor in Shigawa coming along. We've got our first, you know, trans main character in um, Rose. Like, he is pushing forward the show in ways that aren't just, hey, look, David Tennant's coming back, Catherine Tate, you know? And after the four years, three years, Series 11 is innocent of aping the Rusty Davis era and shunning the Moffat era. It's this Last Jedi Rise of Skywalker Battle of Authorship mode we're all stuck in. And it doesn't need to be this way. If I was annoyed about all the Rusty Davis elements in the Chibnall years, boom, here you go, it's all been leading to this. I know Chibnall was a se I think it's a different, I think there's a difference there between a, I don't want to call him a last auntie writer because that's subjective, but I think it's a difference between someone emulating the style of another writer and the style of that other writer. Like, those two things, I get why they can conflate and feel like we're going through the motions of the same thing, but I also think they're two different entities. Just because, yes, Chibnall has used some elements of the, the, the RTD and the, the, the redestruction of Gallifrey. You know, there's a lot of similar plot beats, like a lot of episodes have similar elements to them. I think, you know, I don't think that necessarily means that by proxy, RTD's era is just going to be, oh look, it's it's my era again. Yeah, I know we're getting Tenant back, which would kind of give that impression. But again, nothing is suggesting that that's a full-time adjustment. So 
I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit more hopeful. Seat warmer. I'm sure he views himself as a seat warmer, but I didn't expect it to literally lead into Russell T. Davis. And I just have this feeling in my gut that it holds true for what he's going to do with his second time with the program with, with Shutigawa. How do I feel about Shutigawa? Oh, he's a cute man. I ain't seen none of his work. Consider me sex uneducated. You could point to that and say, well, there's the. All he is one by security and is in full brand synergy mode. I don't know, some of these do feel bombastic though. They're just bombastic in different ways. Like the idea of, you know, Tenant playing an alternate version of like an incarnation. Yeah, okay, we had the Mecha Crisis. But that is a weird off the wall idea. The, you know, it's di it's bombastic in another way, I feel. Different, that's the different stuff. Yeah, we'll see. The Timeless Child, more than anything, proved that we are done. We need to move on from the legacy era fans, the 1980s fans who don't share their toys, who put in the hard work, but also were in the right time, the right place. It's other people's time to play now. So where I'm sitting right now in summer 2022, it feels like it's lose-lose, whether the show does great under him or bad. We're gonna be learning bad lessons from this experiment, this anniversary experiment. You could say- Possibly. They chip I, I, snubbed I, some other- I can say it's possible that they will learn the wrong lessons if this is successful. But I do not think they have to, and I don't think that's a given necessarily. It's definitely possible, but it's not a guarantee, I would say. Creators, you could say Moffat did, uh, wrongly, but Russell, literally just joining the dots up, forgetting all this stuff that's happened in between now and 2009. Tell me it doesn't come across this way. Really, please, because I'd love to hear it. Doctor in distress. Okay, I think that's most of the video now. So, yeah, I want to say, like, I understand where Davis is coming from. It's not a case of, um... Sorry if I've not been reading the chats, but I've been just uh, seeing, reacting to this video. Davis is more of a moth era fan, yeah. I don't want anyone to send anything to Davis because I completely understand the points he's making. I, I never said that, uh, okay, I never said there was going to be a full on announcement, but we had the announcement that, uh, that, um, that, what you call it, Reg Talale was returning, there's also been, you know, uh, like rumours of 12 filming at midnight, uh, as in Capaldi, oh, DWSR, someone yelled, t um, um, when Sean yelled Donna in the scene, okay. Is there anything new, DWSR? Anyone staying for the night shots? Okay, basically, I want to give my thoughts on the Davis video first before we go back into filming stuff, because there is more filming stuff, I think, going on possibly soon. But I want to give my thoughts on that. I don't, th I don't want anyone sending Davis any hate. I get it to some degree. But it is like, for me, I think... I don't know, I just, I don't see, because the one thing I fundamentally disagree with about Davis's take on this is that Davis is viewing this as some sort of self-congratulatory victory lap in the sense of, that's not what I think this is. I think this is him basically using everything to his advantage to, to, to uh, bring the show back to the forefront. And I know that we're fans and not... Uh, media analysts or um, marketing analysts as he points out but it's I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that temporarily if if that mentality were to carry on I'd get it it's also the fact that as I said we're getting Gatwa we're getting a new era under Russell this isn't the replacement for that it's just an in-between I don't think it's a guy being controversial for the sake of controversial and I don't want you guys to send him any hate because I don't think that's what it is. Davis has been very friendly towards me. We've, you know, met, actually. We're, he's a nice guy. But, like, the thing is, not only is it a thing that's already seeped in tradition, it's not like Davis has pulled this random anniversary thing out of his hat. Like, <laughs> I was nearly going to say something else. This is something that's been established to be the thing that can happen already. And we don't know it is just... Tenant as well. There's been rumours of other people. But it's a case of, it is not just something that he's pulled out of nowhere, you know what I mean? 
to your doctors was for ratings boost, the 60th problem. Uh, I don't know what you're trying to say, heretic. I wasn't, well, I'm not quite sure. If you um, say in the chat, clarify. Uh, okay, someone is saying it's SFX explosions tonight. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it's not a valid concern. I'm just a little less cynical about it. Uh, it's definitely a valid concern. Thing is, from his, yeah, I get that. But I think I, I would agree with his take a lot more if we didn't know there was a new Doctor and new era coming. If we didn't know there was, you know, new characters being introduced um, as well. If the only thing we knew about the RTD2 era was that, oh my god, Tennant, Tate, Cribbins, Jacqueline, all of that, I agree with that more. But I don't because we know the show is moving forward after that. Okay. Have we got, uh, is everyone clear on my thoughts on that video? I, I didn't see him call Davis anything like that. I could be wrong. Um, again, no personal hate to Davis, but people are asking me if they want, you know, they wanted my thoughts on that video, so I gave it. Someone was saying that tonight is SFX and explosions. Let me have a look. Um... Let's have a look. Why did they say it was SFX? Uh, oh, someone said it here, hang on. So uh, there's not like another announcement, uh, I, as far as I can tell tonight, I don't think, but we have had the announcement of Talali directing, essentially, which we kind of knew, but it's cool. Um, that's me done, assuming there'll be explosions or something tonight as the real SFX gang are here, but time for, for home for me. Great fun meeting so many lucky Doctor Who fans. Okay, so someone's saying it's explosions, the SFX team. I wonder if we're going to get some shots of the SFX team. Um, but the thing is, we don't know it's just a, it, we don't know it's just a Russell era celebration. There's already been 11 and 12 rumors. There's been rumors of those guys as well with pretty legitimate backing. Like Capaldi has been spotted near Camden. Um, I don't think he doesn't care about it being successful in Bolivia, but he also wants he wants that whilst also liking what it's doing him himself. Hey Thary, good stream so far? I think so. We did just react to Davis' video. Yeah, I don't think there's such a thing as a true fan. Again, I don't want anyone sending any hate to Davis. I don't I don't I understand his points. But I don't necessarily agree. I personally subscribe just so I can go. But first of all, great job. Second, anyone who says just because it was announced that Tan and Tate would be in three specials, why not? What I yeah, I know that the the rumor that Davis bases his thesis on didn't mention them, but like I think there's a lot of there's a lot of rumors to suggest that there will be. So I'm not gonna say it's purely an RTD celebratory like fan wank yet. And I wouldn't even say that anyway, because I said I think he's furthering the mythos whilst using his characters. Okay, someone... <laughs> someone made a joke, I think it was a joke about him being in McDonald's, or unless it is real, I don't know. Um... I reckon there might be something going on with Capaldi, though. I reckon that. Oh, Thary's. William says Tannett is back on set. Where? Where? Tannett is back. Okay. Maybe the... Wait, where does it say Tannett just came back? Okay, there. Okay, we, anyone got... Right, if you, if you are at the filming now, anyone who's here now, Tannett's just arrived back on set. Um, Tenant has arrived back on set, everybody. Please don't send hate to Davis. Yeah, I cannot reiterate that enough. Davis is a great guy. Just because I don't necessarily agree with his take doesn't mean I want anyone to send him any hate. Okay, we good. Let's go. Uh... 
Um, okay, he's back on set. Tenant is back. Okay, hype. Hype. But they're getting us to leave. Okay, they're getting people to leave. So, okay. Tenant is going to be filming through the night. People being asked to leave. No leaks tonight. Ah, damn. That is a shame. We, we probably won't get any more pics as they're closing set. Ah, what a shame. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Capaldi's still near set, so, um, you know, I'm not going to rule that out just yet. You know, the 4chan leak that we read earlier, they do be... They The thing is, they, the fact that they're asking you guys to leave does <laughs> sort of lend credence to the idea that there is something they don't want you guys to see. So... Um, to explain the costume change in tennis aging, he has to be human version. Not necessarily, it could be the 14th fairy time. The doctor, unless someone breaks in. Yeah, I'm not advocating that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, but the fact that people are being asked to leave makes me think there is definitely something that they don't want to see. I might change the, to the title of the stream late, um, after just to incorporate more of the stuff I actually spoke about. Uh, thank you for all like super chats as well. It's been great. I'm probably gonna leave a bit soon, like for not just now, maybe like a few minutes. I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'll pop off again. But yeah, filming is closed off for today, so they're asking people to leave. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll get ten. Like, well, I'm sure we'll get um, updates on filming tomorrow. So um, keep the faith. Everyone. Probably something they don't want us to see. All right. Well, I think that about wraps up. I didn't. I didn't. There's no. I didn't say there was an announcement in the in the title. I said you know Peter Capaldi heading to midnight filming. That could still be happening. Um, Do Doctor's Daughter Return. You know, that could still be happening. I mentioned that earlier in the stream. I think Jenny is on set. Wait, can you can you corroborate that? Can you... There's spoilers they don't want us to see. Could it be... Could it be Jenny? I mean, apparently she was heading over earlier. I mentioned that earlier on. Um, so to co so so to confirm the events of tonight's stream, if you're just catching up, like so to catch you all up, we went over some of the the, the events of today's filming. Um, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Sorry, Rachel Talatley got confirmed as director. She posted it the um, the two hearts plus the little director clap award on her Instagram. We all kind of knew that anyway, but it's cool to get it confirmed. There's night times, um, there's nighttime filming going on right now. Um, lots of SFX shots. They're asking people to leave, so clearly there's something they don't want us to see. I also reacted to Davis's recent video on the Russell returning news. Um, yeah, so that's basically all the stuff we covered in the, um, in the stream. Um, I don't know why people were saying the title was quickly when everything that I said in the title I covered in the stream. So, um, if, if Jenny has been sorted on, on set, then that could be why they don't want people there. Um, fingers crossed for Capaldi. I suppose maybe we'll know by the morning. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But regardless i think i think maybe they they said maybe today was the last day they were filming in this location but once the filming jenny of all people returns people want jenny i don't think it's necessarily that people want jenny it's just that um i said earlier she posted hints about it on her instagram um 
and people are saying that they've, they've she's heading there now, Georgia Tenant. So yeah, so I wouldn't say that this is like wrong yet. This could well be correct. Um, Oh no, not Midnight the episode. I meant Midnight, I said Midnight filming as in filming out Midnight. I thought that was fairly obvious. But... The people who said it was clickbait expected you to repeat the same sentence for three hours. Yeah. Like I was eventually gonna talk about something else because you know, how else do you fill like nearly two hours of a stream, you know? I think John Hurt was seen too. Okay, as well as the Pat and Ostergrag and Dorium. Jack and Riversong, yeah, I know that's true. Have you, Peter Cushing and Peter Capacity have been seen in the kitchen. Wow, I better go look at, in my kitchen. <clears throat> oh, right. I think I'm going to leave you all now. I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, thanks for all tuning into the stream. Um, there's now there was a bot in here, but I think they've been dealt with. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in a bit. Actually, you know what? To end off the stream, I just want to show you all my new screwdriver because I'm very happy with it. Leads, leads. Um, everyone's spamming leads. All right. Before we go, as you're leaving, I'm just going to show you my new screwdriver. Those of you who want to stay, be it free. Oh, I made it go into spiky mode by accident. Okay. Here is my new screwdriver. Um, to turn it on, you press and hold. Look at that. So this is like all its different modes because it's a remote control. Hang on, let me get back to... Look, look at this. And right, listen, if you press and then hold and then do this, it does different sounds. Scanning away, let's go. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying having that. How many hundreds of pounds is that? Uh, eBay. I'm very pleased with it, though. You know, we're not going to get into the price of the item. It's how much joy it brings me personally. But yeah. Uh, eBay. eBay is where I got it. Okay. I'm going to love you all and leave you. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Uh,